Here we go once again. All right, all right. All right, uh, I promise I'm not going to do the voice from last week. I'm not. <clears throat> I'm going to be a lot more legit today. This week, I'm doing probably my most dish and people who know me. as my chicken chow mein. Chicken chow mein. Okay, no voices, seriously. <laughs> this for, part one is going to be uh, the ingredients. Just to give y'all an idea. I'm actually going to give y'all my secrets. You know, for the people who always be bugging me. I'm making this for my girl, so some things are change but this is the basic pretty much recipe one diced chicken it's and just simple chicken breast throw it in the oven throw it in a pan get it cooked take it out you know barely season it barely season it just like absolutely barely a little bit of mrs dash and you know and that's pretty much it just keep it bare a little bit of tiny bit of salt just because that's the, that you just want to lock in a little bit of flavor on it otherwise don't fuck with it uh, vegetables are the important thing. We have, baby, this is diced red pepper. This is some sliced mushrooms. Those are optional because my, my girl really loves mushrooms. She's addicted to them, so I always put, try and put mushrooms and shit. Uh, diced onion, simple onion. Keep it simple. Now, this is just uh, some broccoli, a little bit of carrot, and uh, some peas, you know. It's just from literally from the bird's eye steamed veggie pack, you know, the one you store in the microwave. Easy, cheap, beautifully made, not a big deal. Julian carrot. This is like one of my things. This is like Guyanese fusion chow mein right here. I'm taking a little bit of what my mother taught me, a little bit of what I like, a little bit of what I learned from, you know, going to restaurants. I mean, real restaurants, not just your, your takeout spot in Brooklyn. <laughs> but Julian, if you ever saw one of these bad boys on TV... These things are amazing, son. They will turn a whole carrot into these beautiful strings. And these things, especially in chow mein dishes or like topping salads or whatever, it's amazing, son. It brings out a whole different flavor to the carrot, too. Uh, what else? Oh, yeah, yeah, and the rest of the stuff. Now, for your noodles. If you live in Brooklyn, you should always be able to get chow mein noodles. That's easy. Any key food, <laughs> any little Korea grocer on the corner. You feel me? They're easy and they're delicious. You can find a guy in easy in a little West Indian spot. They can get those that green packet, that green packet. If you do not live within range of a West Indian neighborhood or a Korean grocer who may carry that, then these are your best friend. Thin spaghetti or angel hair. Preferably whole wheat, just because it's better for you. But it's a great substitute. Trust and believe, son. Trust and believe. Those are delicious. Either one, either one, either one. This one though, you always be more careful with chow mein. Because it's easy to fuck that up and end up with glue. Just saying. These are actually these are actually easy to cook, perfectly cooked pretty much every time. Crushed red pepper. These flakes are heaven. Their flavor, their heat, they're heaven. Oh. The gourmet sauce. Now this is just some simple, beautiful Asian. It's a hoisin sauce. You can get any variation of this. Any variation of a hoisin sauce. Any stir fry sauce, anything dark soy based. If you're gonna use just soy sauce, you got that. Well, then I say add a little bit of ginger powder to it, maybe a little bit of actually a little bit of maple syrup to your to your soy. I am not gonna lie, it's weird. Or a little bit of honey. Otherwise, go out and find yourself a nice dark hoisin sauce. You know, anything for chow mein, avoid anything with like too much. Avoid the general toes sauce. Or avoid that orange glaze. And I love that orange glaze sauce. Oh God, it's just amazing. <laughs> Alright, what else? And then the last thing. I'm just running through ingredients. Keeping it simple. The last thing. The shit. Well, actually, no, not the last thing. Two things. Two things. It's a lot easier when I do it with the accent. I just everything just flows and it's just funny. But it's salary. Sea salt. Sea salt. This shit is important. One, it's less sodium, it's a shitload less sodium than any other salt you can find. Either go eating. If you're a real snob, and my family, we are a bunch of fucking snobs when it comes to cooking, then you get, hold on, I gotta find that bitch. Where are you? Where are you? Somewhere in this, in this freaking kitchen, my mother bought Himalayan sea salt, which is, yeah, that's a bit snobby. It's way snobby, and I'm not gonna lie, this shit is delicious. <laughs> if you can't get it, simple sea salt is good. Kosher salt is another good example. Do not use iodine salt son you get enough iodine in your diet and that shit will kill you especially if you're black and this is the coup de gras the 
the five spice powder. This is why everybody always stops and says, Whoa, that shit's good. What, what is that? And they try to find out what it is they're eating. What, what is that extra flavor? It's five spice powder. Chinese five spice powder, son. This is about, this is when Guyanese, you are so Guyanese, you will know you're Guyanese. It's when you rock five spice powder. Mm -mm -mm. Smells like heaven if you're, if you're into Asian food. It's like, it's like a must. But that's the ingredients. Oh, and your tools. Tools. My other tool is my 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 good Asian old-fashioned cleaver. It's actually given to me by the previous owner of the house, a nice little Asian family who sold it for way under cost. Thank you, Asian people. And my wok. The older, oh, my bad. The older and blacker the wok, the better. Seriously. If you see any a non-stick wok for 89 bucks, do not buy that shit. It is bullshit. The wok should not be non-stick, for real. It should be just be a simple piece of freaking metal. Just as simple as it gets. Beat that bad boy with a bat for all the kids. Oh, that is everything you will need. A spoon. <laughs> everything you're going to need. For real. Oh, and some oil. Yeah, this yeah, man. This ingredient is done. Done. Set. Next vid will flat out only be me cooking. So until then, peace.